Hello everybody, our name is Pixel Goat. Yep, both halves of the Pixel Goat army are here. Say hi, Blake. Me what? I don't, I don't know. But anyways, two ha- We are both halves of Pixel Goat. And today, we have a new series coming to the channel. It's called Character Analysis. Radical. Ugh. Yeah, 80s. Where basically we touch on a character and talk about how good it is in battle. What are its strengths and weaknesses. And a lot of editing. So, which also takes processing because we use a different editor than most YouTubers use. I just find this editor easier to use and whatnot and also it takes forever to ex and it also takes forever to edit these things so please subscribe oh, we're like I'm a movie, or he's editing my movie. I don't have an iPhone. Shut up, bitch. Oh, no. Anyways <clears throat> he's got a hermit crab on his head. I've got a helmet. Of Zen, and we've both got dark beam bombs. We are ready to start this. I suggest we go ahead and analyze every ability that we don't get, that we can't, that we don't get only from Lux. So that's just a suggestion. I don't know if we'll actually do that. Okay, before we get to the actual yeah. editing and then get to the things. <clears throat> Oh my god, okay. I actually didn't upgrade my character this. Oh, well, anyways. Also, before we have to analyze a character, we actually have to master the character to get to know them a lot better. We can't just rush through them with the fish down in the sewers. It's going to take forever! I'm only level 3 regular. I don't play regular patient. Don't worry, at least one of us has to have one mastered version of that character. Well, you have a lot more master characters than I do, so that'll be a lot easier. Anyways, down to the sewers. Here we are down the sewers. I'm going to stop talking so radical. So anyways, my friend Blake here is playing as a normal foot soldier. So, as the piece here, you can do 35 damage on a direct hit for... For critical and for splash ten. Don't mind the numbers there because the backyard battleground is kind of fucked up with its damage, so it's not so inconsistent as it is on the first shot. So again, thirty-five uh thirty-five damage on a direct hit, ten damage for splash. Let's just see how much Yep, you can hit about right there, so it's a pretty big distance. <clears throat> Just to shoot right there, and he'll still take damage. The pea shooter is obviously meant for splash. Next, we have to look at the pea shooter's abilities. The first one we're gonna look at ha has to well. We're gonna start off with the basics. We're not gonna do. We're gonna start off with the normal things you start off with. Unlike the dark bean bomb, which we already have. So, my friend, such assistant, could you go as a really buffed character? Because the bean bomb is your best friend. Sometimes. Okay, let's take this super brains for example. Even though he's not the best example to use it on, it'll. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. It can do up to 150 damage. Pretty good, right? 
Oh, but let's look at but let's look at it again, but this time we'll have him jump. Not only that, but the dark beam bomb also has a big radius. So big that it could probably reach in the air. Say probably. So my assistant, when I say jump, or actually just jump to try to avoid it, alright? Don't jump away, just jump above it. Not as much damage, but it can still hit him from up there doing the finishing blow. Ooh, radical. Next, we have to look at the other ability, the Y ability. In this ability, you are stuck in the ground. You can't move. You have 100 P Gatling. Each P can do up to 12 damage on a critical hit and do up to 10 on a non-critical. And he shoots pretty quickly. Come back out. Alright. So, look how fast it takes down the super brains. Take away three to two seconds because the backyard battleground is, again, inconsistent with the damage you can do. Next, on with the hyper. We're not going to edit this one. So, in this... We have a hyper ability, which can speed up and help you gain a big jump boost. With it, you can dodge and also shoot at your opponent's feet or directly at them for the maximum amount of damage. Not only that, but there are a few tricks you can use with it. For starters... Yeah, we're going to have a clear running space here. <clears throat> so, for this one, say we use our Hyper, he's going to have trouble hitting us. Yeah, you can shoot down, and not only that, boost yourself with a Chili Bean Bomb, get yourself in there and blow up a bunch of zombies and then finish them off with your Splash or Direct Hits. So, here we have a mech. Now, what are we going to do about it? Now, I said in one Chomper video that the Pea Shooter or the Sunflower could be. I think the Pea Shooter is the best for taking out mechs. And here's why. Try, try walking towards me. Okay, try shooting me. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay, and also, when you're in pea gaddling with this helmet on, you also take less damage. And you also take out mechs extremely quickly. Also, the down part is you have less ammo. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead. Damn it. Anyways, on with the next. And next, if you look at my abilities, you see that they're all new. Now, first off, we're going to take a look at the Sombrero Bean Bomb. This baby has a longer fuse, but, can, but has a bigger splash radius and, or explosion radius, as I should say, and does a lot more damage. So, we're going to demonstrate that. C assistant, can you go as a armored class? Or a tank? Could I get any more cringier? Maybe. So, let's take the all-star for example. See, it has a longer fuse and 
It can, I think it can do up to 175 damage, if not 200. Because the amount that it can do is skyrocketing. Again, I should be doing 35 damage, but again, back air battleground is pretty inconsistent. So, next one. And next, we're going to go with the retro gatling. This baby. You made a mistake on the last one. This is the one where you actually have less ammo. Sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah. We have a new helmet. And we still. I think the resistance is about the same. If not, more. Anyways. It's pretty cool looking. We have 50 ammo, and we also shoot slower. What this baby does is it does let it can it does more damage, but with less ammo and less firing speed. Now get back out here. At at a critical hit, one hit can do 16. For non-critical, 14. Next is an, a very unpopular ability, and it's deserving. D I rarely see anyone use this ability because, to be honest, it doesn't really serve any purpose. N we have the Super P Jump. What does it do? Okay, I'm not going faster, but I jump high. This can be useful for some things, but why use this over the... Hyper? You, you, you don't. You don't use it over the hyper. Alright, just th that's just something you guys need to know. Do not use it over the hyper. It's, it's not worth it. Um, uh, fuck you, Blake. And uh, that shouldn't have hit me. Popcat, fix your shit. And uh, yeah. Die. Next. Next. For the final and definitely not the least. Last but not least, we have the Dark Bean Bomb. Instead of just one, these things have... You have two of these things. And as for the Pea Shooter trick, you can do this twice. And you can time it just right to go where you want to go. Why don't you show an example about that? Because I need to do this. One dark beam bomb can do up to 80 damage. It has a tinier splash, it has a tinier explosion radius. However, you're giving two of these. Which my assistant will do the math. 80 plus 80. 160 total damage these dark bean bombs can do. If, if given the maximum amount of damage. Time, and since I have another one. It's a really useful tool and I highly recommend it instead of the normal bean bomb. But we'll get to... The, We'll get to ability comparisons later. Actually, we're going to do that now. For how the series is going to work, for for every normal character that we cover, we're going to cover every single ability and compare them. As the normal character doesn't really have much to talk about. And my dog is fucking my shit up. I will be right back. And the power of editing. Ah! Now time to compare their abilities. Now, we first we'll start off with the three or four chili bean bombs. The chili bomb. The how I mean the chili bean bomb, the sombrero bean bomb, and the two dark bean bombs. Now again, now, which one should I use in battle? Which one is better? Why will my fucking dog stop being a bitch? 
All these questions will be answered right now, except for my fucking dog. Anyways, as you all know, the maximum damage of a normal chili bean bomb. 125 damage, but I'll see if it's moved out of the way. 150 damage. Is 150 damage. And that, and they pretty much charge up pretty quickly, except the, the sombrero beam bomb charges a few sec. Extremely slowly. What? Extremely slowly. Oh, I beg to differ. You see, the hot. The sombrero beam bomb charges, believe it or not, faster. And me and my assistant are going to demonstrate that in this video. And I don't, and that, that almost hit my shit. I fucked up my, what is my dog? Get out from under there. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Next, now we're going to cover the two beam bombs and their recharge speed. So, we and my assistant will stand beside each other and we'll, we'll drop them in three, two, one. Wow, you're fucking stupid. Sorry about that, but my assistant is fucking retarded. So... And now we you wait. You said you won, and then I fired it. Mic lag. I'll just wait one second. Now, do you have one? Almost. I also delayed it by a second. It can recharge 15 seconds earlier than a normal chili bean bomb. So, I would highly recommend I would recommend using the sombrero bean bomb. It's good for taking out hordes of zombies, especially if they're not paying attention. But, what about the two dark bean bombs? Well, let's check them out. <laughs> so we have two dark bean bombs. Stop being fucking stupid. Now, excuse me for dealing with real life situations. Anyways, we have two dark bean bombs. We can use that trick again, or, and if my assistant will go in there and actually do something. So listen guys, I'd, here's the key, damage is not everything. You still have a primary weapon, which is your snout, which is what I'm going to call it, because it's cute. Anyways. Aside from me being cringy, if my assistant will come out as a normal foot soldier, fucking idiot, don't use all your shits. So, say you planted one and he jumps away, or he was supposed to, he still got some health left. You can also shoot another one because he's wasted them. Except he's fucking stupid and moved. What the hell? Anyways. First time you told me to jump. The second time you told me not to jump. I don't know what to do. None of this is scripted if you can tell. Well, actually. Well, actually, I think we did it. You jumped over it. I mean, you tried to get away, but it still hit you. But then when I told you not to get away, you got away. So, one did damage and one didn't. So, there you go. 
it all worked out. And also, you can just finish, even if the damage doesn't finish them off, you still have a normal P Gatling. Well, not P Gatling, but you, you have, you have your primary weapon, which are P's, and can do, once again, 35 damage, and on splash, up to 10 damage, which, it's, and my assistant has turned against me. And I have turned against him. Yippee. So now, me and my assistant, with both of our beautiful, fabulous hats, we are going to show you. Which, now, I know we haven't discussed which one of the beam bombs is better, but it's all up to your, it's all up to you. I feel like no beam bomb is better. And it's just solely based on what you think. Do you want... Like, it's all in terms of how you play the game. Do you want to do a lot, put out a bunch of damage at the cost of a slower explosion rate? Or do you want medium damage and you want it to set up, set off quickly? Or do you want two bombs in exchange for a little damage and a little explosion radius. I say if you're going defensive pea shooter, use the chili bean bomb or the sombrero bean bomb. Or if you're just playing normal pea shooter, you can use any. If you're going offensive, I would say use the dark bean bomb. I would agree, but I'm just going to give a little tip that I personally recommend uh, with the bean bombs. The regular bean bomb, I would say, would, would work best with words of, let's say, brown coat zombies. Like, if you're in garden ops, especially taking out words of zombies that way, since they have less, less health than they normally do, at least the heroes do. But they're easier to, since they're easier to take out um, the regular bean bombs, I would suggest, maybe, I don't know. The is, I would say, better for turf takeover. <coughs> if there's a zombies in the base, you can throw the Summer of Bean Bomb inside. And since they're too busy taking over the base, there's a huge chance that almost none of them will notice. And they'll most likely all die. Um, but I, I say if it's herbal or Team Vanquish, I would suggest the Dark Bean Bomb um, because it's a great damage dealer and since everyone's already on their toes trying not to die, especially in game modes like Team Vanquish, then I would suggest the Dark Bean Bomb because of the short fuse. And it's quite a good damage dealer. We're just going to end it off there. Anyways, now next we have to look at the Retro Gatling versus the P Gatling. Which one's better? Well, we're not... Well, well, let's take a look. First off, the charge rate. Well, no, actually. First off, if my assistant will stop being retarded. Let's look how fast and quickly they go. We ready? Whoops. Oh, the hell? <laughs> As you know, we are fucking up. But, um. Get into. <clears throat> Let's see which one goes down first. We will start in three, two, one. About the same. About the same time, actually. Yeah. And the recharge rate? Well, press Y when it's ready. <clears throat> so how are you doing? 
Yeah, uh, it's something. I don't know. About the same again. So let's say that one is practically a direct upgrade from the original. I wouldn't call it that. Well, not a direct upgrade, but a complete damage upgrade. <laughs> Maybe, but the slow. But you have to consider the slow firing rate, and the fact that it. Yes, it does more damage, but it also do it also has a slower firing speed, firing speed, and it has less ammo to work with. A normal, a normal shot can do from this P Gatling can do up to twelve damage with a hundred and can shoot, and with a hundred P Gatling can shoot for a quick time. And you see, it's a lot, it is slower and it has less ammo. So, what we're gonna do is we're both, I'm going to go at, me and him will go as mechs and we'll do two videos, or, well, not two videos, I mean, we'll do two edits and then you guys can compare them since we're lazy. Ammo do you ha how much ammo did you have left? Question. Maybe 35. We can see in the video. Just, just don't use this one. It it, it sucks. It 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 just it it it, it just sucks. All right. Don't 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 use it. It it's awful. Just, it, it's awful. You can do the exact same thing with this, except you're faster. And again, it's just awful. It's just the. It, it's better just to use the hyper. It's the jump is awful. <coughs> so, in conclusion. I say that the Pea Shooter and the Pea Shooter class in general is a very powerful, is a very power, I think the Pea Shooter is a very powerful character. His abilities can be extremely useful and he obviously deserves to be in this game. We're going to work extremely hard on this series and we hope you guys enjoy it. Anyways. See you guys next time.